Well, on the uh, subject of AEW, Collision was tonight. And in the main event of Collision, the tag team title match, FTR defeated MJF and Adam Cole to retain the tag team titles. They better have a hell but, of a storyline. But, but what? They did not break up MJF and Adam Cole. No. They are still they, together. They better have a hell of a storyline because I'm watching this match and it's just like I rarely get stunned by finishes. And sometimes when you're stunned by finishes, it's a good thing. I did not think that this was a good thing. I thought that I thought that this was a match that MJF and Adam Cole should have won. Um I don't necessarily think they should have had a long title reign, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with FTR winning them back in a couple of weeks. But I just felt that um, MJF and Adam Cole, I mean, like, whatever the storyline is, I hope it's really good because um, it's not just that the people wanted it. Of course the people wanted it. The people wanted the title change hands. They're a hot act and everything like that. But I, I just thought that this is just, you know, this was it's, it's, it's the night, but I just thought that it was like, these guys should be serviced. They're a very hot act. And I also, like, with obviously you can't beat Adam Cole because he's going for the championship on a big show, okay? So you beat MJF because you're, they're going to win. And I feel that beating MJF should have been saved for, you know, and again, if they did a title rematch, probably do some angle where MJF gets beat. But I think that, like, a guy who beats your world champion, um... He, if nothing else, Dax should be getting a title shot. Absolutely, but it's like you've got these two big shows. I don't think Dax should be getting a title shot in London. I don't think Dax should be getting a title shot in Chicago. Um, but we don't have anybody better. I mean, if we're doing logic, he should, he should get it in one of those two cities. I just think it should be something bigger. I and mean, That sounds bad for Dax and everything. It's like I'm knocking the guy, and I'm not. I think that, But I don't think that he's a guy ready for a world title shot on a, a singles title shot on the pay-per-view. And I do think that they should get the tag titles back, but I just think that this was perfect opportunity for like a, a couple of week title chain, you know, run just a thing where you do it and then you go back with it or you don't go back with it. You know, he can hold two belts for a little while. And if the act is hot, you know, it's like service the hot act and um, keep the momentum going. If they had this great, great idea that somehow is better than that, that's fine. Like, I'm not going to say it's stupid because I don't know where they're going, but I do know that my instinct watching this match was, uh, to the point that I was stunned, I thought for sure they win the title because the act is just too hot to, to, to do anything to cool them off. And, yeah, the idea that they didn't turn on each other is something – and they they had a way to do it. Ah, just didn't, uh, you know. I just felt the, the crowd deflate, and uh, and, it's, and well, they did deflate. That's what happened. Yeah. And, and 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 I mean, like I said, if they have some great idea, the crowd deflating in Hartford, Connecticut, it's not the end of the world, and it's not a big thing. But they better have something good because because they had something really good that they could have done that they didn't do. So that's my thoughts on that one. And, of course, the main event was a tag match, and uh, there was, in fact, almost no comedy in this match. The closest you could get were fans chanting for the double clothesline, and they kept setting it up, and uh, Max vowing to smash Dax's nuts, which did lead to uh, the punt in the corner behind the referee's back, and had an excellent match, all sorts of near falls, place was going crazy for everything. Every time MJ and Adam Cole went for a finish, they, they thought it was over, they went crazy, cheered for the kick out, or cheered for the they spot. Booed, they, booed, they booed FTR in this match. Yes, FTR were clearly the heels, and they worked the heel role. I mean, they weren't outright they, heels, but, I mean, it was setting up the Adam Cole babyface hot tag. Well, they, they, set like up the, they set up the other guys for hot tags, yeah. And then yeah. finally, FTR goes for the shatter machine on Cole. Max leaps in the way to save him. They go for the shatter machine on him, but he jumps out, goes for the pile driver on the ropes on Cash. Dax rolls him up from behind, may have grabbed the tights. He was reaching for the tights, but then they cut the camera to the other angle, and he pinned him. And so FTR celebrate. They cut this promo, never doubt FTR. They leave. And so Cole shakes hands with both guys. But Max is down in the corner. He's just crying. He has a freak out. I lost it. I blew it. Cole says, no, we blew it. Crowd's chanting for MJF. Cole gets the belt. Says, Max, you're the world champion. You got nothing to be ashamed of. Max is still crying that he lost the match. Cole says, I love you. You did your best. 
and he goes over in the corner and he is looking at the fans and Max stands up and he's got tears in his eyes and he grabs that belt and man here it comes and Cole like sees on the big screen and he knows it's coming and he just says just just do it do what you got to do and MJF he turned it he turned his back on him yep he can't bring himself to do it so he throws the belt down and Cole turns around and the fans are going nuts chanting hug it out and so they hug it out, and everybody goes absolutely nuts. And uh, everyone's still waiting, but he didn't turn on him. Yeah, he was he showing off the air. Yep, yep. Um, excellent main event, excellent angle. Um, the match was good. Yeah, excellent. It was, it, was, it was a really good match. Angle, I mean, angle was not what you would expect it to be. Um, yeah, but I, I didn't want him to break up. I didn't think this issue. That would have been they, ridiculous. They, no, they absolutely shouldn't break up. They should not break up anytime soon. Their merch is selling and everything like that. Um, that's why I thought they should win the titles. Just go with the freaking momentum. Well, the fact is they should have won the titles. Yeah. I mean, go it was it was the easiest thing to do. I mean, whatever plan you've got for MJF and Adam Cole, you can always do it later because well, it's fake. But you can they're, stall they're, it along for a we, while and ride the, the wave. But here's the deal. Have you ever you, surfed, Tony? Ride the wave. No, but here's the thing. They've already established that they're doing the title match, prob- and that's probably in London or, or Chicago, but probably London. They've already established this match, and they've already established that you could, you're going you're to do it as them being friends, and maybe they, they can do the turn there, or maybe they don't even need, need to do the turn. But we, it's like the idea that they had to do the turn because they had the match, that part of the storyline is taken care of. They, they've already got the match announced, and there isn't going to be a turn. There is, there's, there's no need for a turn. At some point, should they do a turn? You know, who knows? Maybe yes. When that time comes, do it. Maybe that time will never come. Maybe they'll be the hottest tag team in the history of wrestling or something. Or I don't think they're the hottest tag team in the history of wrestling. But maybe they'll be a hot tag team. And they don't, you don't need to do the turn for six months. And they can do the odd couple thing and for a long, long time. And someday, you know, when... The time is right, and the thing has run its course, uh, and who knows when that will be. And then you do, do the, you can do the turn, but yeah, it's like there's no. Need. But my thought was is is that they should have switched the belts, and if you have plans where FDR needs to be champions, you know, then do this thing. I just think the people wanted that big moment, and they, you had a chance to give them that big moment on TV, and you didn't do it, and. That's it. I think the bigger thing is I don't care what plans there are. It's professional wrestling, and there is no plan that needs to be stuck in stone. That's the whole point of being a worked business. If things work out, then plans can change. I completely Vince agree. Vince changed them a lot. He changed them way too much. But the, you know, the yes, fans hated that Vince was constantly changing plans. But that does not mean that you have to go hard the other way and never change plans under any circumstances. If it's the right thing at the right time, yep, agreed. You go, and this I was. I agree. Unless they have something better that we don't know, and that always could. Like that's why I say. Like I, I am hesitant to say it's wrong, but I do know that the that in that building on that night, and not just in that building on that night, people watching at home as well. That it is that it would have been fantastic to do this. Now, again, if they have something better, we will know in the next couple of weeks. But, you know, again, um, I hope it's something really good because they had they had something really really good that they didn't do. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.